Hello everyone, thanks for joining me today. Today we will be discussing one of the very important questions of the industry. And the question is, how to get all employees details who joined organization in the year 2019. So let's say there is an organization from where you got a question from the business where you have to get all the employee details which who joined organization in the year 2019. Now, basically all organization is using so uh, if, if you will talk about financial organization banking organization or the organization which follows security standard they have identity and access management infrastructure set up and directory server is one of the very important component of this identity and access management so basically directory server is also a type of database only the thing is in directory server the data structure, the underlying data structure will differ. Data will be stored in tree-like structure. However, in relational database or we, which we call uh, the database in co uh, common terms, there you will see row and column and, and all those having relation. There will be different tables. But here in directory server, you will have direct uh, tree-like structure. The data will be stored in a form of tree. Now, directory server is a sort of database and the protocol which is used to communicate to your directory server is called LDAP. That's a protocol very similar to HTTP protocol. So now, if let's say your organization is using some directory server and that directory server could be anything that, that, that may be active directory. Active directory from Microsoft. It could be ODSC, Oracle Directory Server Enterprise Edition from Oracle or it can be OUD, Oracle Unified Directory or it can be Oracle Virtual Directory or Oracle Internet Directory. All these are directory. Similarly, CA Directory. Now it's also called Broadcom CA. So CA Directory. So there are different types of uh, there are not different so basically there are different vendors today in market for directory server now if let's say this is a question and you want to get the answer then then you have an option what you have to do is you will query active directory or odsc or ca directory whatever directory your organization is using you will make an make a ldap query to get the data so let's say in the year 2000, if there are uh, 100,000 employee joined. So you will be acquiring LDAP where a result will be 100,000. That's a big number. So your LDAP will take a lot of time to process. So you know, like all those big query, you, if, if you are getting this sort of request, in those cases, I would not recommend to query your live uh, directory server. What I would recommend is, your directory server will have option to get you a text file which also called LDIF. Now, from LDIF, you can get this detail. So, now the question is, what is this LDIF? So basically, LDIF stands for LDIF stands for LDAP Data Interchange Format. So basically this is a sort of text file which is in readable format. Correct. So whatever data is there in your directory server, let's say there is an organization who is using Active Directory. Now, employees data is in Active Directory. What you have to do is, you have to get those data in LD format. Every vendor has ability to give you LD. Now, you have the LD file. You have to process that LD file. And how to process those LD file, that we will be discussing in this session. So,
if you will go to ld file then you will find something like dn which is distinguished name employee number is one of the attribute employee number is equal to one organization is equal to sso something like that then other data cn sn employee number so you in ld file you will have data like this this is one entry similarly there will be another entry something like dn employee number is equal to 2 o is equal to sso and then set of attribute so and and these two entry delimited by a new line so basically this entry then a new line then another entry like that you will have all the entries of this directory server into a file now what we need to do is we need to go through this LDF file so i need to write something i need to have something i need to automate something in order to read this ld file entry by entry and get the data whatever so basically in this session i am explaining you how to traverse or how to go through this ld file by using a java code first i will take an example of directory server in my case in my lab environment i am using oracle directory server enterprise edition so what i will do is i will go to that machine first i will get you the ld file now i am going to write one piece of java code uh, which will be used to fetch the information watch what you required so basically uh, the motive behind doing this is you know like we don't want to affect the online directory server so basically we will take the ld backup and then by using some sort of java code so basically we want to exclude uh, querying to the live directory server which which in a way where we don't want to compromise with the performance or we want optimal performance so we don't want to query something uh, which will result in performance impact of the directory server thank you so let's let's connect to okay so what i will do is i will go to the so what i will do is i will go to my system and then i will show you how to take the ld backup there there are two options for all the directory server vendor one is called offline ld backup another is called online ld backup so i am going with both the option and then i will show you how to take the ld ld backup and later uh, i will show you by using uh, java how i am going to uh, traverse the ld file thank you okay so this is my centos machine i already logged in so now what i will do is i already installed oracle directory server, server enterprise edition on this machine and right now instance is down so what i will show you first is how to take the offline backup since instance is down so we can take offline backup actually offline backup means you have to take the backup ld backup when your instance is not running so let's do that so okay okay so here you can see this command we will be using to get the offline export dsadm export hyphen hyphen no replication we don't want replication data an instance path is this and this is the suffix so basically i have imported the default data which already comes with a directory server as an example so i have imported that initially so i will be taking uh, export of this suffix and then uh, the path uh, you, here you have to give the complete path where you want to have the ld file so uh, for in my case i have selected for present working directory and the file name is 
offline LDAP offline LDAP LDF okay so let's do it and we are done so we got the LD file. Now what we will do is we will make the instance running and then we will take once again the online backup. So for online backup okay so instance is running for online backup you have to use dsconf. When you are using dsconf make sure your instance is running. dsconf has too many options and one among those options is export and dsconf prerequisite to run your dsconf your instance needs to live it should be running so in my case it is running just now i have started again hyphen uh, hyphen no replication means i don't want replication data and here the name will be online ldap dot ldf okay. Okay, so now I have both offline and uh, online backup of Oracle directory server, Oracle directory server LD file. So here you can see. Now what I can do is I will go through any one of this LD file. So basically you need either an online LD format or offline LD. So basically the content will be the same. Only the thing is the mode will be different. So it totally depends. There are production system where it is not possible to get you the offline backup because offline LD backup uh, needs to make your service down. So you can take online LDAP backup. Now I will show you how the content will be in this. So here you can see this is uh, the entry ID one DN and then this is the base DN and object class and these are the attributes. So ACI you know like ACI is for access control. Uh, you can ignore those ACI when you are traversing your LDAP, LDAP file. Again, if there is a requirement to get the ACI, that also you can do. It totally depends upon uh, the requirement. In many directory server, uh, for access control, there is a separate file. But in Oracle directory, access control is a part of data only. Okay. So here you can see, this is one of the entry for group and object class. And this is attribute OU and a unique ID. That unique ID you will find everywhere. So like that, uh, you have uh, data, means entry by entry data for the complete directory server data. Okay, so here you can see now, uh, DN, distinguished name, UID, Terrace, uh, T. Morris, OU people, DC example, DC CNS, Ted Morris, SN Morris, given name, object class, whatever object class is there in this entry, you will find all those. And then, OU mail all those are attribute a user password will be hashed it is salt sha and its unique id associated with each entry and this will be unique name itself suggest so these are the attribute now uh, you know like uh, if there are requirement from your organization to list uh, all employee with the mail so how you will uh, able to do it so rather than querying to the live uh, uh, directory server uh, go with uh, this ldf and and write your program to get the detail so let's say uh, in a csv file you have to have uh, uh, cn comma mail this common name of uh, entries and mail if it is not there then you have to have it empty if it is there then value needs to be there or let's say you want to have all the list of uid along with along with mail or or some other attribute so uh, those option uh, sometime requirement uh, may come and in that case i would recommend you to go through the ld file rather than querying to the uh, 
uh, querying to the uh, live uh, directory server so basically you know like if, if let's say you want to have a query uh, which is uh, time consuming and, and uh, which may impact the performance you, uh, or uh, if the query is a long running query and and you, so I, w I would not recommend you to do all this querying into the directory server what I would recommend you to is uh, you know like as you will be uh, LDAP administrator. So what I will uh, try to uh, uh, explain you is just get this LDAP format and, and then write some sort of command and do whatever you want so you can play with it, correct? Because if, if even let's say you you will corrupt this LDAP file or, or do anything nonsense, this is not going to harm anything to the organization because you are playing with the backup file, correct? So, okay. So now what we will be doing is, you know, like I'm going to write a piece of Java code uh, which will read this LDIF file entry by entry and then give you the details. So I will take one uh, example like I have to list all user UID and mail. Okay. If UID is there. So one thing is I have to make sure UID is there. If UID is there then I will have the UID and a mail is optional. In some UID there would be mail. If in some UID there would there would not be any mail. So I'll I will uh, write a piece of program Java program and then we'll show you how to traverse it. Now there is two way one is uh, have your ld file on this machine itself write your java file make a jar file get the jar file on this location on this server and then uh, read this ld file or you can take the ld file on your local machine and then uh, you can run uh, your java on your local itself so uh, two ways are there and uh, you can run it the way you are comfortable with 